down among Brazilians Coffee beans grow by the billions So they've got to find those extra cups to fill They've got an awful lot of coffee in Brazil For years, Britain was a tea-drinking nation But now, coffee has become more popular than tea Has it? I didn't realise that I'm quite happy drinking tea Coffee has become more popular I don't feel it has. Coffee's been going for a lot longer than people anticipate. Tea's just sort of tea, but you've got all that sort of flat white splash of this and splash of that and all the lovely toppings you can have on it. It's a bit trendier, like, because they, you know, like the coffee shops and things, the independent ones, they really, like, they make it quite a cool place to go, whereas there's not really, like, tea cafes. Yeah, I think there's a culture based around coffee that doesn't really exist. Yeah. With tea. It seems to be very trendy, doesn't it, these days? It, tea doesn't give you anything, but coffee gives you energy. It's, prom it's been promoted by the very big high street brands. Um, it's promoted again as a quick caffeine rush. You get that buzz from a cup of coffee, where from a cup of tea, it's relaxing. People expect you to sell coffee these days as well as tea. I mean, I prefer tea, but they do expect you to sell both. Statistically, working people drink more coffee than the unemployed, but can your occupation affect how much coffee you drink? I would probably only drink about one cup of coffee a day. Really boring, just flat white. We drink about six or seven cups, probably too much to be honest. I have one in the morning before I go to work, and drink in the morning and afternoon at work, and then probably one will come home. I work as customer services manager, so on busy days, they're more stressful. So when I'm more stressed out, I drink more coffee definitely affects the amount of coffee I drink in the day. Uh, Favourite coffee is Kenko Smooth, um, not fussed on shop bought coffee like Costa or anything like that, just prefer homemade. I tend not to, I don't really want it three, four times a day because I think it might lose the effects of this a bit. So I'd say I probably go about once a day, five times a week. The opposite end of the spectrum probably is about eight. If I'm drinking coffee at home, it's always in um, Nescafe usually then. Usually when I work well, I'll nip out the office on my lunch and I'll just head to McDonald's. Getting a coffee in a coffee shop is probably a uh, cafe near a Nescafe or Kenko or Darweg but so I'll probably have a little bit more coffee because of the work because it's also that social aspect of making drinks for other people. I've always been kind of the same so I wouldn't say my occupation does affect how much coffee I tend to drink. I'd say I drink about between two or three cups a day. Especially when it's like coursework season because I'm a lot more tired and I usually have a cup just to kind of wake myself up. I do like mochas just because they're quite sweet and I prefer sweeter drinks. Coffee lovers are willing to pay that little bit extra for a perfect cup of coffee. At around £430 a kilo, Popey Luwak, the world's most expensive coffee, is the ultimate flavour experience. Initially you think, mm. but I actually went to the plantation that they made it so you kind of see the whole process and they the, the mongoose that they use are all kind of ethically used, they're rotated and then released into the wild, so they're only used for a short period of time. Um, they naturally in the wild were eating the coffee beans and um, they, the teeth weren't strong enough to break through them, but their enzymes that go through the stomach was getting through obviously and, and making some difference. Well, I'm trying to do the currency rating from Balinese um, rupee, which is something like 36, 100,000 order rupees. I think it worked out at around about 15 pound, 20 pound or something for a packet of it. But considering it's 250 pound a cup in Harrods, I think it's a bargain in. Exactly the same as a normal filtered coffee, but it's a lot smoother. You've still got that depth of flavour. The smell, it's... It's amazing, it's just that full aroma of the coffee uh, beans, freshly ground. For the die-hard coffee drinker, coffee can be bought everywhere. But what is it like working within such a competitive marketplace? It can be hard competing with other coffee or like cafes because people usually come in and tell us, like they kind of compare us. It's not hard competing with other cafes really because we have our our loyal regulars and uh, there's plenty to go around really. Probably about 200 cups on an average day we sell. Coffee sold a day, we sell quite a lot of coffee up here. Oh, obviously it's quite weather dependent as well. You know, if it's really cold outside, people want a hot drink. But we also do fraps as well, so it's all time. I like working in a coffee shop because, I don't know, it's just pretty cute, isn't it? It's very hard work. 
I think some people don't realise how hard. I really enjoy what I do, yeah. You get to know on a more one-to-one -one basis when you sort of kind of work by yourself and doing barista-style coffees.